This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes. So hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we'll be learning the top five gold mines for bug bounty hunting. You will learn the zero day CVs very quickly. There, everything will be posted there. So as soon as they are published, so make sure to take a look on both of them. And also, there is a bonus in the end. So make sure to take a look onto them. And we have seen that in the previous video, the particular links was not working for the Google form. But we have mentioned the Google form into it for the free bug bounty course access, early access, which will be on the YouTube soon. And also we are having few courses as you all guys know that we are having the bug bounty batch 11 and the advanced bug bounty batch 3. You will learn the real life hunting, the live target approach, the live recon, the methodologies, the checklist and everything. And also we have launched a few recorded courses, the art of XSS to master XSS. And in this particular course, the Art of XSS will be having uh, all the POCs of big MNCs like I can't disclose the name but you can take a look on there. And also we will be having few more things there like all the POCs we have used to find bugs in the biggest companies we are having Hall of Fames on the whole team. And also we will be having few furthermore added things like Cloudflare bypasses, all the web bypass payload, the possible ways to bypass them. So make sure you take a look onto them, all the recorded courses are here. The link is in the description and last but not least we are having few private tools disclosed and they are up for sale so you can just check out them in the description all links are in the description check it out and let's get into the video so here we are on our computer screen now and as we have discussed we are going to discuss the five things or the five major things that is uh, that can be referred as gold mine for bug bounties and that's the title for the video but before going into the video i would like to mention that the google form link that was not properly mentioned in the previous videos is mentioned properly into this video so kindly take a look onto it and let's take a look on the five main golden resources so we got the four things here i like and the fifth one is a little bit hidden i will show you so first one is medium bug bounty right everyone know the medium blogs you are subscribed to it so just take a look onto it medium bug bounty or you can simply take a look or Write the topic you want to understand. Suppose you want to understand the XSS, medium access write ups, you will find hundreds of them. And also, there's a text file in the description which is having a lot of channels that you should follow on Twitter, on medium, on multiple platforms. So, this one is the medium, you can just take a look on it, you can use the POCs for it, you can get a lot of things onto it. Then we got the Twitter or X, you can just name it whatever you want to. So here we got our Twitter and as you guys can see that on the Twitter by the opening we'll be having a whole thing a whole data on it you will just find just go to the search and just type whatever you want to search I just want to search here bug bounty right I will just get the bug bounty report explained bug bounty tips bug bounty HQ bug bounty community Bangladesh all those things you can get a lot of tips from it bug bounty reports right you will find a lot of reports and everything that you need to know about it even there is the channel of project discredited io you will get a lot of things here bug bounty notes so technically twitter would be your morning routine if you are not uh, that much active on it so kindly make this thing a regular every zero day all those things that is going to be published they will be on the twitter or the x very soon so it can be a very helpful tool for you then we got the asset note so you know a lot of people make a mistake of doing brute forcing so if i just make a mark on it then you can say that when you are able to get some sort of extension or some sort of portal like slash adobe slash then a lot of people would be doing uh brute forcing music day search or maybe checklist but i am not saying that checklist is not useful it is very useful but when it comes to some sort of specific brute forcing then you should do this or use this sort of word list as you guys can see that if I'm talking about word list, maybe you will be like, uh, you want some sort of maybe a flask word list, you can get a Laravel uh, word list, you can get Nginx word list, you can get Rails, you can get Django, Cold Fusion, Cherry Pie, Apache, AEM. Now if you want manually generated word list, now there are some sort of manually generated word list, 
2 million subdomain.txt right then you can get like you can sort them out to asp lowercase aspx lowercase this sort of word list are very useful when i was talking about bug hunting yeah they are they are working as a gold mine suppose you got some sort of other things like this is just a demonstration purpose but when i'm talking about few more things like let's say um adfs so there is nothing related to adfs but yeah you can go for the adfs word list on github right there is word list available for everything so make sure you do everything specifically for each parameter or each endpoints don't be like wildly doing it now this is on technologies based on technologies you can got the tomcat like the tomcat and am are very useful to be honest then you can get this uh, manually generated word list as you guys can see that few of them are taken from checklist so yeah checklist is useful but i will say that specifically using each of the things is very useful then you can get the uh, extension based fuzzing like i usually name this thing extension based fuzzing i don't know what you name it but in that thing suppose you are trying to find extensions based file suppose you want some sort of dot jsp files only you want some sort of dot json only so you first for them only and there are lot of word list available for that and they are like you know hundreds of lines thousands of lines but they will give you lot of js files jsp files and you can use them for lot of sensitive information and definitely they can lead to sensitive information leakage now one of the best things activity for keeping updated with vulnerabilities learning a lot of new tricks I hope everyone knows this. If you know what is activity, just comment down below in the video. Let's see how many of you know about the activity. Now the last thing, as I said, we'll be learning on five, but we'll be taking a look on six. So the first one would be the YouTube dot com, and the next one would be Telegram. Like Telegram seems to be very different, but yeah, in Telegram you can see a lot of bug bounty channels in Telegram. I'm not having it here, so. or else i would really like to show that but you can see that bug bounty telegram channel there is few channels which are posting 20 to 30 reports each day and you will see that all the reports are different you will learn hundreds of new things in total mention the link in the description and any of you who own any of the group just kindly ping me on the whatsapp i got few things for you so definitely take a look on the telegram and then we got the youtube.com chill youtube is chill just write bug bounty POC videos, simple. You will find lot of things. Bug bounty POCs, lot of POCs, right? A lot of things are there, regular and all those things. So you can just take a look onto it. There are few channels like Hacker Foodie and all those guys. They are doing well and good in these things. So definitely, this was the very short video on the bug bounty gold mine. And also, we are very close to the monetization. And also, before monetization, there will be. the free bug bounty course launching so kindly take a look in the description for the link to get the free access of it and also we will be launching that bug bounty course in four parts definitely they will be having not they will not be having the live part that we do in our course as you can check them out link is in the description but they will having a lot of things that you should know and also we have launched few custom tools but they are not for uh, open source i will say they are not on github there are on some sort of private resources so you can check out all the links in the description don't forget to check out all the links and that was for the video thanks for watching like share and subscribe